Hello, and welcome to this video where we show what Twine Compile can do for your C++ development projects. As we all know, C++ takes a long time to compile. Faster hardware helps, but as projects get more complicated, compilers get more features, they just slow down. Let's take a look at a project that I've put together that demonstrates this problem. This project has 100, uh, 100 units, yes, 100 units, and has been optimized to compile fairly quickly using the Clam compiler in RAD Studio 10.4. So let's go ahead and build this project. It's going to start compiling, go through the pre-compiled header in the first unit, and it's going to take a while. And once it reaches the actual units, in the project, they're going to compile fairly quickly, possibly just under one a second. Yeah, probably about one a second. So this is probably compiling faster than the average project. Most projects are more complicated files that take a longer time to compile. So I'm going to cancel this. And let's see. What can Twine Compile do about this? So, what is Twine Compile? Twine Compile is our solution to making your C++ Builder projects compile much faster. We have had users reporting Twine Compile makes their projects compile 50 times faster in certain circumstances using late generation AMD Ryzen processors. Twine Compile at its core is an extremely powerful and high-performance build engine that automatically distributes the project that you're compiling across all the cores and processes in your system to maximize the use of your available hardware. It also uses a very high-performance in-memory file caching system to optimize the way that the compiler reads and writes the files to avoid it having to perform expensive disk operations. Let's go ahead and install Twine Compile and see what it will do for this project. I should point out that this is a 6-core with hyper-threading virtual machine that I'm installing Twine Compile into. If you use it on a bare metal hardware, you will notice even better performance. The installer automatically picks up that RAD Studio is installed and installs Twine Compile into it. Let's start up the IDE. You will see the plugin appear as a new IDE add-on. And once the IDE loads, you will notice that there is a new Twine Compile menu. There are a number of different options under there. We will get to that in another video. First, let's bring up our large project, which we looked at just a while ago, and take a look and see what's going to happen with Twine Compile installed. I'm going to use exactly the same build command that I used before, but this time you will note the Twine Compile has automatically taken control of the build process and starts compiling the build itself. You'll notice that with this compile, it's obviously running a lot faster, and it is compiling many units simultaneously. Twelve, in fact, because of the six cores plus hyperthreading. The compile is significantly faster and it's basically finished already. It's just sitting compiling that one unit now that doesn't use the pre-compiled headers. All the other units have finished compiling. This is just how much faster Twine Compile will make your compiles. Now we're at the linking phase, and obviously this is a fixed time, and it's done. We didn't even wait for the other build to take to finish. So this is significantly faster. So, as you can see, Twine Compile installs very easily, simply, and quickly into the IDE. It automatically integrates with the IDE's build processes. There was nothing special we needed to do. We could keep using the IDE as we do today, and Twine Compile took care of making our compiles much faster. There's a lot more to Twine Compile, which we will be showing in upcoming videos. But why not go and download a free trial of Twine Compile today, or alternatively, if you have an active RAD Studio 10.4 subscription, you can download Twine Compile 5.2 free of charge from the Get It Package Manager.